I am standing on the side of a major highway at the en route station. This is the first time I've ever preached from an en route station. I am actually going to get my dad and bring him back from Lakeshore Pentecostal camp. So next week, uh, you'll probably see Pastor Bob there. And you know, when you're driving down the 401, you can like go way off the highway or you can just go right off the highway. And the whole purpose to an en route station, you can see it there behind me, uh, is that you don't take a lot of time to do the little things you need to do. You keep on with your journey. I think that's an important step in the Christian walk is to realize that there are things you don't want to take a lot of time getting off the journey. The enemy wants you to get off the journey. God wants you to stay on target. Now, the, you know, normally, like, you'd want to just keep going straight. There's this Bible verse that says, A thousand may fall at my right hand and ten thousand at my left, but it will not touch me. Well, you know, to not take a lot of time, I just pull off right here at the en route. It's not kind of the best place to preach. Now, in a very, very strange way, this is a perfect place to preach because most of the people who are here at the en route have maybe never really heard a guy preach before. Now, I'm not drawing a large following right now, except for seagulls, but God wants to seek out in your life the things en route that he has for you. You know, you don't want to get way, way down the journey and kind of lose uh, a lot of time. I know that it's a kind of a fun thing to do to go to Florida and uh, when you drive you often don't want to get too far off track. One of the things on en route and I mean this lady's looking at me going what on earth is this guy doing? I'm preaching! You don't want to get too far off track. Now there's times where spiritually you get really off track. You get a sense of something that the Lord has for you to do. And you're like, okay, you know, time to get back to business. Well, it is the fall and it's many times uh, in the fall, you're kind of like, we got to get back to business. I would suggest to you that not a lot is, uh, you know, fine, this is normal and that's normal. But seeing what God wants you to see this year, you don't want to not see what God has uh, said to you. And I want to kind of look at this topic tonight. When God speaks to you, uh, a lot of people will like argue, well, has the Lord spoke to me or has the Lord not? What do you need to look for when the Lord talks to you? I don't want to argue about when it is, when it isn't. I just want you to know. I want you to remember that whatever God says to you, it will hold its ground long term. Big things that God has entrusted to you will not get you off track in your spiritual walk. Many times people get very off track in their spiritual walk. The Bible says, your word have I hid in my heart so that I might not sin against you. When God puts something from him into your heart, it won't take you way off track. Have you ever seen a person that thinks God said something to them and then they change their whole life? They go way off the 401. That's not usually God. God, when you take things all together, you know, you take the things that God has said to you, it will not create a new route for you. Sometimes you will just stand on the side of the road, make sure that the Lord has really said something to you, but God's word and his work is unswerving. And things that are unnatural are never usually God. And what do I mean by that? You know, God is not super spiritual at times. He's very, very practical. And you can look at your life and say, well, I need to do this or I need to do that. It's usually not dramatic changes that win the day. I have no clue who I'm talking to or what I'm saying right now, but I do sense this in my heart. Usually the big things in your life that God has for you are very practical. If your life comes undone, it's usually not God's doing. The Bible doesn't say God spoke to me and I was one of the thousand that fell apart at the right hand or the 10,000 at the left. When God speaks to you, you are protected, you are safe, you are not going down a side road that leads nowhere, you are going in the main direction that God wants to get you to. Where is it that God wants to get you to? And you will see that in whatever season of life you're in, on the route that you have, uh, you know, 
God is able to do more abundantly more than all the, that you are able to dream or imagine. Uh, my God is able to do all things through, uh, you know, I am able to do all things through him who gives me strength. But it's not just that I'm able to do all these things. God is able to do in me the master plan. And this is kind of what I want to get at. You can see the en route behind me. I heard this kind of cool story today that when the moment the queen died, the flags are at half mass. I'm preaching on the weekend that the queen actually passed away. There is a long goal. And if there's one thing that I can give that queen, she was in it for the long game. And take a, like she was a Christian, she was a believer. She did, and she often taught, uh, talk to people even in her Christmas addresses. What gives me the ability to do this is my Christian faith. Your Christian faith will be walked out and you won't have to go in this weird direction in your life to get to where God has for you to be. You can be an unswerving force, not going to the right, not going to the left, but staying on track. Preaching from an on-route station on the side of the 401 to pick my dad up. I just want to tell you, you don't have to go off track to fulfill God's purpose for your life. God's purpose for your life, you will fight, you will get there, and you will get there going on the straight and narrow. You don't have to get off the straight and narrow. To be, you, know, you don't want to be pulled apart in this life. You want to be focused. You want to be forgiven. You want to be capable of doing what God wants to do in the grace of God, and that will get you there. Stay on point in your life. This is a time in the last few years of rapid responses that people are making that are ridiculous. People will make decisions these days and it's like they change the entire glue that held you together that was the Lord that's always been faithful, will always be faithful. I want to suggest to you that my God who has been faithful will be faithful. Take everything that God gives you and realize you do not have to drive off the 401 the God that got you here is going to get you all the way. And getting you all the way won't be by turning you around and sending you in another way. God's way is usually familiar. Now, there are familiar things. The word, your word have I hid in my heart so that I might not sin against you. It's an interesting scripture and this is what I feel was kind of what I wanted to suggest to you tonight. I have studied this. I know on this one what I'm talking about. In ancient society, like in the Old Testament, you would have homes that would have a treasure hidden somewhere in that home. It was usually in the center of the house. And this is what David is saying. This thing that you have given to me, Lord, David is saying, is so important. I put it in the center of who I am to protect it. It is the most valuable thing. And I guess what I'm trying to say from the on route is, if the most valuable thing that God has for you is valuable to you, you will not go 55 minutes out of off the 401. You will keep it locked down. It is unswerving. The protection that God has for you, it's the treasure that you will hide. When you hide a treasure in your heart, it keeps you centered. So going way off track is not being centered. Going in a centered way with what God's promises are for you is the way God will get you back to where he has for you. It's not finding a new promise. David said, your word have I hid in my heart so that I might not sin against you. And it is something that is so valued valuable that it's like it's not that he locked up a secret it's that this was his prized possession that's exactly what it was saying when we hear that now we kind of think it's a secret it will keep you viable it will keep you going in the right direction it will keep you on track so i want to kind of i'm not going to maybe preach as long tonight hopefully but i want to say this from the on route what is the treasure in your heart that God has given you that will keep you on route? What is the thing in your heart that is so special from the Lord it will keep you on the route that you're going? There are things that God will give you 
that will do that for you. It is very unnerving when you see people making dramatic change that is in every instance so uh, viable today. I just see this everywhere. But if you listen, listening, the Bible says, uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing comes from the word of God. If God puts something in your heart, you know, Moses was standing there and he's like, okay, I got all the people of Israel behind me and I have the Red Sea in front of me. And this is what God says to him. Moses, what are you worried about? Just lift your hand. So many people are so worried about things. Worry causes the change, not faith. And I will just close with this thought. Whatever things you do this fall, if you do them out of worry, they will not fulfill the purposes of God. We live by, we live by faith, not by sight. The treasure that God gives you in your heart, if you base that thing, the promises of God, they will keep you en route. But if you worry, the Bible says, don't be anxious in anything, but in everything, bring your prayers and petitions and give them up to God. If you want to find your way in life, it's so funny. There was a girl behind me watching me preach that you can't see who just pulled up in her car. I'm not sure if she knew what I was doing, but she just walked away. And in everything that you do, don't do it in anxiousness, but allow the pe let the peace of God guard your heart. Let the word of God embed in your heart the promises of God. And if you do something out of anxiousness, if you're not abiding in the Lord, it, it, you know, if you go way off track, you're not going to be on route. Your destination is not absolutely like a given. The reason, and this is kind of the final thing that I want to say here. I'm going to move because somebody's coming up. The reason that it matters is if you hold fast to that which is given, it's able to kind of save you for that day. So you want to make sure in your life that you don't just swerve too quick. Hold on to the things that the Lord has given to you. And you will find that if you get decisions made out of anxiety, if you get decisions being made out of fear, that's not faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing from the word of God. And what David was saying is the word of God is the treasure in which I will base my life on. And when the Holy Spirit speaks to me, that thing will be the thing that will keep me on route. God wants you to be on route. And how you do it is you keep the word that he speaks to you, that you're listening to in the forefront. Don't make decisions out of fear. Make them out of faith. Don't let unforgiveness root in your heart. Forgive and make sure that you know this day that wherever you are, stay on target. How do you do it? This fall, I will not give in to worry. I will not give in to fear. In everything, bring your prayers in petitions before God. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. That's something worth listening to. Whoever you are tonight, God's got something for you. Lord Jesus, I pray in the parking lot off the 401 that we would be en route, that we would not allow our treasure to be taken. We are not forsaken, and you're building us back into something good. God, many of our lives after the last two years of COVID feel like we went so far off the 401, we're never going to get back. If, God, you put some things into our hearts, we are not far off, we're close. May we get back on to everything that you have for us. May your salvation and your destination find us this day. Stay on route with Jesus, I pray in his name. Amen. God bless you today.